Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your mistake here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to design a bouncing splash screen animation in Figma. This is what I mean by bouncy splash screen animation. Look at these effects. Yeah, just take a look at it. Then it, after bouncing, after it's introduced you to the app, then it's just going to show you the first screen or a splash screen that you decide to do so i'm going to teach you these in under 10 minutes now let's get started so the first thing you have to do is create a new file in figma then um, you add a title so call it bouncing animation effect in figma so let's just name it like that so the first thing you have to do is uh, obviously you add your frame so we're going to add our frame we want to design for a mobile app iphone 14 pro max so let's zoom out a little bit let's zoom in yeah so this is cool so now the first thing you have to do is edit this um we'll make this first so that is it so the first thing you have to do now is a uh, pick on eclipse Click on Eclipse, then you can go here. You can decide to reduce it a little bit. So let's reduce it to 70, 70. Good. So you change the color to what you need. You can change it to linear. So we have um, two color. So the first color will make it blue. While the second color will make it um, something like red or something like that something like this is shiny yeah good so this is very nice this is very nice and white yeah this is a cool animation so in case you want to add more effect you can go to effects and go to shadow and you add shadow if you want to add shadow you can decide to add um let me see maybe red so let's see how it will look Okay, this effect is not really showing much, so let's go back to our effect and edit a little bit. Yeah, okay, this effect is nice. Um, so uh, let's make it all over. Let me go back to the effects and add four here, and also four here. So end up having something like this, and for this, we'll make it 45%. End up having something like this. Let me make it easier. Mm, so this is this look good to me so now that you have this you just have to duplicate this into four places ctrl d move it to the right then ctrl d then ctrl d so now what we are going to do now is um drag this into our design the first animation drag this in and drag it up so when you drag it up like this when once it's entered inside and you hold your mouse Hold your keyboard and press up arrow key so it has enter inside so that is good so now for the second one let's put our effect down for the second one we're going to add another screen if you're 14 pro max you can decide to change the title if you wish well to not have to waste time i'll add another one so for this also i'm going to put this down here So I'll drag this down so it has entered inside. So now that is cool. So now we'll add another frame 14 Pro Max. Good. So this time around, we'll pick this design and take it to the middle. But now we're going to expand it. So we'll make it, uh, yeah, we'll leave it this size. Then we'll add another one again. Let me just duplicate this page, Ctrl D. Then this time I want to expand this one. We'll expand it to 180 by 180. So keep it at the middle. Good. This is good. So the last one, let me duplicate this, Ctrl D. We are going to expand everything into the screen everything like this so now let's expand Good. so 
now that we have this we can start prototyping you see it's quite easy so we go to prototype we connect the first one to the next one you change it from on tap to after delay 800 milliseconds that is cool then we'll change it to smart animate we'll change this to bouncy you understand to so the next one you do the same thing also we we'll click on this and connect it to the next one change it to after delay bouncy that is it then also for this connect to the next one after delay and bounce it and lastly for this one also we we'll connect it the same way after delay good so now let's prototype our design and see what we have so you see it's quite easy so that's how to do the animation effect in case you want to show your developer that in the beginning of the app it should bounce before it shows the main screen but we're just going to put the type what we have done so far we still need to add an um, additional screen for splash screen but let's put the type what you have first no. so i'll name this splash but for now I'm not connecting it so let's look at what we have good so let me restart again so these are the effects good so after this I'm just going to add any screen you want to have so let's say you want to add a splash screen here or anything so I'll just type sp uh, splash Make it 20. 20 is too small. Let's make it 45. So this is very noticeable. So I just con to con con connect this. No. I'll just connect this though. Oh yeah, good, finally. After delay, I make it um, one thousand. Oh no, no, let me just make it ten thousand. Bouncy that it will do that. So now let me start. I think that the first one is too fast, so you can change your setting the way you wish. So after this splash screen, you're going to see your main screen. So that's the way I did this. Look at it. So, so easy and you see your main screen the same thing we just did here but the setting i use for the bouncing are quite too fast that's why you're not seeing it too fast so you can edit it to how you wish or you can um, change this eclipse to frame and just corner the radius and that is it and how you want to do it well these are the quickest way to do this so in the next video, I'm going to be dropping more interesting tips and tricks in Figma. One love.